Hey guys, Queso Man Rules here. Um, all right, I'm doing this video tutorial on how to make your videos for YouTube 720p quality in Sony Vegas. I said in my last video that I didn't know how to do do this, but I figured it out. And um, I know there are a lot of other videos like this on YouTube, but I figured I'd make one just so I didn't let my subscribers down. And if you want that kind of dedication to you because you're a subscriber, then you should subscribe to me because you'll get that dedication. So, all right, I'm going to go in and open up Sony Vegas. This takes just a second. All right, um, first thing you want to do is go to this little button right here, which is Properties, or you can press Alt-Enter, as you can see there. And um, first thing you want to do is click on this drop-down bar, go down to... HDV 720-30p, 1280x720, and 29.970 frames per second. And I'll put a little caption there for you. Um, and the rest of the stuff is pretty good. Make sure you check this box and click Apply and OK. Now go to File, uh, go to Open, and open what you want to render. This is my quality test 3 for my channel. This is what I used. I did in Camtasia 2, but I'm going to do it in here. Hopefully I'll get the same results. Um, now what you want to do is go to File, Render As. Um, name this what you want to name it. Like, quality test. Here, go down to, uh, got to move it. I'm going to move this up a little bit. Go down to uh, Video V9, Microsoft Media Video V9, WMV. Now go down to Custom. Now name this what you want it. Uh, I would call it something like YouTube HD. Video rendering quality, make sure that's at best. Now go to um, Audio. Pretty sure you can leave this stuff the same. Yeah, I, w I would just leave this stuff the same. Uh, it's audio, so that doesn't really make a difference. You might want to move up the sound quality a little bit, but that just makes it take longer to render. If that doesn't really make a difference, then I don't know why you would bother. Okay, in mode, go down to uh, quality VBR. Uh, here, make sure this is at video V9. Here, you're going to want to take this down to uh, high definition 1280 by 720. Make sure this pixel aspect ratio is the same. Five uh, seconds per keyframe and drag the quality up to 100%. Then go over to bitrate. Pretty sure you can leave that the same. And then you should be done. Go ahead and click uh, save and um, click OK. Then you can click save and it'll save the video. Start rendering it and hopefully it won't take too long. I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back once it's done. Okay? Okay guys, the video just finished rendering, so we're going to go see it. There it is right there. Let's open it up and take a look. This is not necessarily what it's going to look like on YouTube, but it's still going to be good. Um, okay, here it is. And uh, this is pretty good quality. Uh, it looks to me almost identical to what the quality test from Camtasia looks like on YouTube and on here. So, yeah, I should be pretty satisfied with it. I don't know why not. Looks really good. Looks HD. Um, so there you go. That's pretty much it, you guys. Um, one thing that I did want to mention is that YouTube has made another update. Uh, they have added the um, little function for watching HD now. There's no longer any need to put the and FMT equals 22 thing because now you can um, just click this little button down at the bottom where the watch and higher quality button used to be. Now it says watch in HD and it works great. Works just like the and FMT equals 22 thing. So no any more reason to have to deal with that. Much easier and I'm very proud of YouTube for it. Um, on another note, I may in the future probably 
uh, we'll be making an Ubuntu tutorial. I've spent this whole weekend messing around with it, got it to dual boot on my system. So, yeah, it's pretty cool, and I actually really like it. Um, so I might be doing some on that. Uh, the reason I think I'll be doing that is because the more and more I played with it, the more I realized that it really, really needed to have some tutorials done on it because there weren't many on YouTube and it's really hard to do. I had to dig forever to get info on how to do anything. So um, I know that's not going to appeal to my normal users and that's not all I'm going to be doing. I might make one or two. They're still going to mostly be Windows stuff, but yeah. Okay. Well, that's pretty much this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and see you next time.